I definitely feel that we need a revival. There's no doubt about it. But revival, as we said earlier, is not just being active or mm -hmm. not just making a lot of noise. Mm. Revival should start from within the hearts of people. Mm. So one thing uh, essential in our churches today is ministry of the word that would touch the lives of people and transform the lives of people. There's a great responsibility on preachers and teachers and pastors, those who minister the word. It is not just, uh, a, you know, giving a sermon every Sunday. Mm. They should wait upon the Lord, receive the word from above, and with burden and in the power of the Holy Spirit, they should be able to communicate that to the congregation. Mm. And then the Spirit of God will work in the hearts of people and the lives of people will be touched. So you cannot artificially create a revival well, by that's, that's you know, music or doing mm -hmm. all sorts of things. Mm. True revival should begin in the hearts of people mm. and the hearts of people can be touched only by proper preaching of the word of God Amen. in the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So I think elders and teachers and preachers are held responsible by God for uh, many wrong things that's going on in our midst today because many people don't take their ministry seriously. Mm. Some people just take it as a profession. Mm -hmm. Some take it as a means to become popular. Some take it as a means to make money. But only when the ministers become serious about preaching the word, receiving the word from God and praying over it, studying the word and ministering to the people in the power of the Holy Spirit, I think that is the best way uh, in which you know, God can work in the hearts of people. And when people are enlightened within, you know, the revival will automatically come. You don't have to artificially mm. create anything.